The members of North Decatur Press here in Decatur, Georgia, believe that their faith and care for the environment are fully intertwined. And today, they're finding out how much they're throwing away could be or should be diverted from the landfill. It's a beautiful day here at North Decatur Presbyterian Church for members of the congregation and I to dig through their trash. Together, we enjoy some lemonade and make a few new friends before we all, young and old, go for a dive in the dumpster. We have some surprise items that I did not anticipate. And right off the bat, we find some surprising trash. Someone had illegally dumped tires in the church's dumpster. But this okay, is our trash. It's our responsibility. It's part of what's filling up this dumpster. I'm with Kate Mosley, and she's a member here at North Decatur Prez. She's also the director of Georgia Interfaith Power and Light. So Kate, what's happening here today? We are doing an old-fashioned dumpster dive. We decided to get up close and personal with our trash, the stuff that we once handled inside our church building, and we decided to see what we could learn about ourselves as a congregation in looking closely at our trash. So we've gotten into the dumpster, pulled out trash bags, and started to sort it, and learned that we have a lot of work to do in terms of recycling and reusing things that are, we found in the dumpster. This is part of a bigger project we're doing as our Care for Creation Committee, and we're doing a full-on waste audit. How we can educate everyone who uses our facility to think differently about what we throw away, because not all of it is trash. Now certainly when we reduce our waste, we're also reducing our carbon footprint and our energy output and usage. So those are all connected. We have implemented a green certification program for congregations. So the energy efficiency program is one of them. And then we also have a water conservation program, a waste reduction program, a sustainable purchasing program, and a community garden program. So why not help congregations find ways to save money in their trash? save money in their energy and water use so that they can be, do, be about doing more work out in the community. As each bag was taken from the dumpster, it was weighed so we could calculate the diversion rate, or in other words, how much of the trash was actually recyclable or compostable. And in the end, we found that 76% of the trash we removed from the dumpster could be diverted to recycling or composting. In our consumer culture, trash happens everywhere. So it's important for us each to consider the different ways we contribute to this footprint and how we can reduce them. Dumpster diving, that's just another easy way to be green. At Green Shorts, we tell these stories because we believe that we all have to work together toward a greener future. Our mission is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video to help spread the message. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe for new videos every Thursday and Saturday.